innovative open source projects made by incredibly motivated students, coaches, and organizations. Hello, Open Summer of Code. Coaches, students, volunteers, anyone is welcome to follow this tutorial on how to do a brainstorm session with your team. We've got those magic days where creative juices are just flowing, everybody has great ideas and everybody's aligned. But we've also got those terrible days where everybody just seems to be stuck. No good ideas come out and we've got those loud people and quiet people and nothing is really happening. This is where guided brainstorms can really help us out. I'm just gonna show you a couple of techniques, but know that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are thousands of techniques out there and you're free to use your own. To figure out how to conduct a brainstorm session in detail and get tips on tools and how to conduct them with a group of students, introverts and extroverts alike, visit the extended version. The first brainstorm technique I'm going to talk to you about is the Disney brainstorm. This is the short version of the Disney brainstorm. If you want some extra tips and tricks, you can always visit the extended version as well. The Disney brainstorm session consists out of three parts. The dreamer phase, the realist phase, and the critic phase. Phase one, the dreamer phase. In this phase, everybody gets to imagine anything they like. It could be magical, it could be unrealistic. The most important part is that you say yes and instead of no but. You want people to let it all out. Don't be a critic just yet. Phase two. In phase two, we become realists. We think of ways to make those dreams really come true. So think of everything that you need to do to get there. If an idea seems too unrealistic, you can already adapt a little bit. But be nice and be constructive. Phase three, you become the critic. In this phase, you will select the top three ideas you have and start poking holes in them. Then you make sure that you patch it all up so the ideas become impenetrable. What does that mean? The team is confident to build it. They think it's feasible and they're motivated and it's worth building the idea because it's valuable to customers. Et voila! Be nice, be constructive, and create space for each other. Good luck. The next brainstorm technique you can use when you have a tough crowd or a tough day. If people have a tough time imagining new situations or feel a little awkward or held back, then you can use the brainstorm technique, the extraordinaires. In this technique, you can create your own fictional characters that could serve as a potential client for your product. For instance, a rusty old robot that lives on the planet Mars. His hobby is collecting garbage because he has a heart for nature. Does your team see a business model for him? Or are you going to be the oil that's going to make him move faster? Are you going to help him communicate with other robots on other planets to collect more garbage? The important part here is to say yes and again instead of no but. You want to get the creative juices flowing so you can go further in the brainstorm and motivate each other. This technique is based on a game I got to know a couple of years ago. And you can find out more about it on extraordinaries.com. The time brainstorm. The third brainstorm technique I'm going to give you is just like the previous technique going to support you and the team to get in the right mindset and to get the creative juices flowing, but is going to be a little bit more directed towards value instead of magic. Depends on what you need. When using this technique, it's enough to just have a shared Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, you will define different columns with moments of the day. Those columns could, for instance, be waking up first in the morning, having breakfast, during the workday before noon, noon, lunch, afternoon, in the evening. You can define as many as you want. When you're satisfied with the amount of columns in your Excel sheet, you can now get started. The team takes the goal or the problem presented by the client. For every column, they try to find a solution that will solve the goal in that moment of day. That moment could define where that person is. For instance, in the morning, they could be commuting. 
they probably won't be on their desktop looking for solutions, but on their mobile phone. That probably also means they can't listen to things and that they want to see rather than hear. If somebody is at work, they might not want to reach for their cell phone, but rather find a solution on their desktop or even on their smartwatch. Bonus, right now we use the time constraint to constrain the time of day. You could also constrain the time they have to complete the goal. For instance, one minute, 15 minutes, or half an hour. Another way to use time is to constrain the team's time. Have them imagine what can we build in 15 minutes? What can we build in two hours? And what can we build in two days? This will put them in a different mindset and remember the skateboard Ferrari analogy that might help you as well. We hope you liked it and learned something. If you have any feedback or requests, please let us know. And if you want to make your own tutorials, please come over. Thank you and see you next time.